Welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, align your imported SketchUp model to um, the existing default uh, elevation views, or uh, and the second option, as a second option, how to create a new elevation view that aligns with um, the faces you have uh, in your uh, imported SketchUp model. So the first thing I, I created uh, in uh, in SketchUp, this little this little example. Uh, building like uh, shape which is uh, rotated by an arbitrary angle around the origin uh, I save that as small house example rotated dos, dot uh, skp and I'm going to import that into Revit by creating an uh, on the massing inside an imp place mass uh, I'm going to name it rotated house um, and by going to the insert tab, going to import CAD and under my history recently imported uh, files, I find this small house example rotated SketchUp. I'm going to uh, manually place it uh, by its center in my, uh, uh, in my uh, Revit model on the level one. Uh, uh, all these are default values. Um, And uh, after choosing a, an appropriate location somewhere in the middle of my world and finishing the mass, I get a warning that uh, my SketchUp model only contains uh, mesh geometry, so there is no B-Rep volumetric data. It's only a couple of faces and lines and vertices, um, which means that certain operations you can do on uh, regular masses in uh, in Revit, you you model in Revit can be applied to um, to this imported uh, geometry, but I'm going to ignore this warning for the moment. So um, when we look at um, this uh, the this thing at um, w from one of the elevations, for example, the east elevation that is uh, a default elevation, then we see that uh, it will be very hard to do uh, useful things, modeling tasks. Um, in this elevation and also uh, it's not a very useful uh, elevation uh, to be shown on uh, our final layout. So one of the two options, so there are two options, either I'm going to rotate, uh, either I'm going to rotate the, uh, the object uh, and align it to perpendicular uh, to my axis or to my s to these existing uh, elevations which I'm going to show you now and later I'm going to show you how to create new elevations that are aligned to uh, uh, to objects in my imported uh, model so let me first go to select this uh, this mass and um, go to rotate uh, uh, which will be very hard to rotate it in a, in a precise uh, in a precise angle um, this way. Um, so uh, the first thing you want to do is grab the little rotation icon here and drag it to uh, one of the endpoints um, of a line that is uh, perpendicular to or of a line that you want to uh, make perpendicular to your view. So this is the this is the starting angle. And then I'm going to align it uh, and and have it snapped, um, either have it snapped to um, uh, to an orthogonal axis. If uh, if it doesn't snap, uh, you can always uh, choose to uh, make a create a little detail line um, uh, and use that as a, a reference uh, for your object. So now going back to in that case our north uh, elevation we see that we have uh, things nicely um, aligned by now uh, the second option um, if I'm uh, if I'm undoing this um, so re-rotating um, the whole object um, is by creating additional um, or, or new elevations in addition to what I already got if you go to uh, if you go to view uh, you'll find uh, and you're uh, in one of the floor plans or site uh, you find the option to create a new elevation um, unfortunately you can you can uh, align these elevations you pressing the tab button and toggling where this uh, uh, elevation looks at or 
uh, once you press uh, push the mouse button and I'm going to uh, or you rotate uh, rotate uh, the elevation manually to to match uh, to match uh, your uh, to be perpendicular to um, um, to one of the walls, uh, but as you can see by by this manual rotation method, it's very hard to uh, um, to make a, an exact uh, rotation. It will it will always be a little and there will always be a little angle. So uh, uh, a trick. Uh, so even though it mi it might seem uh, mostly perpendicular to what I see, um, I'm going to apply uh, another trick um, to. Uh, have them precisely aligned, because uh, when you when you draw ex uh, when you create a new wall um, that snaps to the endpoints of my of s uh, some of my geometries, and uh, I drew in uh, that I found in SketchUp. So, for example, here, um, then so now we got a we got a proper we got a proper wall here proper wall object uh, and um, if I create a new elevation now and hover the mouse um, over the wall then you see that that it uh, automatically aligns as soon as I come near um, that wall and otherwise it'll stay uh, uh, perpendicular to the existing uh, views um, so by setting that elevation down here I think I'll escape uh, and a new elevation has been um, created um, and inspecting this elevation uh, removing it a little bit so this is uh, th this is the section box or, or the the view I uh, I actually have on on this now and as you see it's parallel to uh, my modeling lines I'm going to remove this wall um, and uh, if I uh, activate this elevation to a then I have a nice perpendicular view on my rotated imported uh, geometry. This concludes um, uh, elevation, rotated elevations. Thank you for your attention.